Now, first story is sadly a tragic one. More than 22,000 lives have been lost after the deadly earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. The devastating and heartbreaking pictures continue to emerge, especially from Turkey, which has been affected the most. Emergency crews made a series of dramatic rescues in Turkey, pulling several people, including a 10-day-old baby, from the rubble. Now, groups of people working across a mound of rubble fall silent and machinery has been turned off to allow the sounds of any survivors to be heard. Temperature remains below freezing mark across the region and many people have no place to take shelter. The government has distributed millions of hot meals as well as tents and blankets but is still struggling to reach many people in need. Meanwhile, India's Operation Dost is on a full swing, saving lives and winning hearts in Turkey and Syria. Teams of the NDRF and dog squads have been working round the clock rescuing people from the collapsed buildings. 250 personnel have already been deployed in the worst hit areas. Relief materials weighing over 135 tons have reached Turkey. Now, personnel and equipment have also been sent to set up a 30 bed field hospital by the Indian Army. CNN News 18 Siddhan Mishra is in Turkey. Take a look at this ground report. We'll be talking about the success of Operation Dost. So this operation was launched by Indian government on a very day when Turkey witnessed earthquake and in fact the images and pictures of devastation had started coming from Turkey. The Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi had ordered his team to send search and rescue teams to Turkey at the same time also to make sure that whatever is needed any sort of help and assistance should be provided to Turkey in these times and this is perhaps the reason that today this operation those has become really successful here on ground in Gaziantep we are a few kilometers away from Gaziantep and it's freezing cold followed by rains here in this one province where I'm reporting from but Operation Dost is doing wonders here on ground in terms of the rescue works which are being carried out by four teams of NDRF. More than 150 Jawans are here on ground equipped with best detection technique, best techniques to pull people out of rubble. At the same time, they have four heavy trucks with them to assist them to take them to various places and the search and rescue work is right now going on. In fact, uh, a video is also getting viral where NDRF teams have saved life of six year old girl. In fact, Prime Minister Modi, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar and Home Minister Amit Shah all have congratulated the Indian teams working here in Gaziantep. At the same time in Hathay, there is one field hospital that has been set up by Indian Army and that field hospital is doing wonders. All those who have been rescued are being taken to that field hospital, are, are, are being admitted there and the first aid is being given uh, to, to people and in fact the photos and videos of the field hospital is also getting viral. More than six flights full of materials, uh, uh, medical equipments, medicines, uh, uh, clothes and uh, trucks and all sorts of help have reached, uh, reached Adana which is few kilometers away from Gaziantep. Can you just share in a little more detail as to how that little girl was rescued? How was that operation really uh, concluded? So it was a sub team led by a sub inspector, seven to eight NDF rescuers and uh, they were at a building which had collapsed, a pancake collapse as we call it and this little girl was there and when they uh, were taking the uh, dead victims out uh, this little girl opened her eyes and they realized this little one is alive that is how she was found alive after I would say uh, almost 80 hours in the uh, rescue of the little uh, girl six year old the uh, two dogs Romy and Julie played a huge role they were the ones who led the rescuers towards the place where she was there and when they they could finally recover so Julie is a is a is a hero for us and uh, they add to the technical equipment's alarms 
Sometimes the equipment is certainly not 100%, give you false positive. A lot of noise and a lot of uh, rubble is being removed. So the dog uh, has different kind of a way of sensing a live victim. And when these two corroborate, then we are very sure that there is something here which needs to be explored. So the dog is a big, big help.